parabolic mirror. I used the mirror to heat up this block of aluminum to generate steam. I mounted this contraption to my... The problem was that the disc and the aluminum block together were so heavy that it created a huge momentum which was too much for the solo tracker to handle. So then I changed it into this. With this design, the center of mass is precisely approximately more or less exactly at the point of rotation, which makes it a much more balanced system and therefore much easier to be moved by the... I covered the aluminum block with fire retardant board as insulation. of baking in the sun, the aluminum block reached a temperature of about 180 degrees Celsius. When I then sprayed water in one of the holes, the temperature dropped dramatically. In about 20 seconds, the temperature had dropped below the boiling point. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of this uneventful moment, but this aluminum dish is made out of steel with a thin coating of aluminum. I learned something again. So I repolished the mirror much better. Degrease it thoroughly. And then apply the highly thinned layer of varnish. As you can now hear, all the steam is fizzing out the top because the cork has gotten out. So, I think I have a proof of concept. Back to the drawing board. As you probably saw, the glass insulation window cracked because when I started I didn't have the solar tracker pointing at the right spot which burned the duct tape which got too hot for the glass to handle. I didn't have any nice. Run them you red duster. Thank you.